Eric Files is all about bringing you the facts, and we want to make sure you know what to expect come primary day in Maryland. So Evan Koslov is here now with some new information we're getting. Hey, Ed. Yeah, we all expect to have the results on election night, but here are the facts. We might not have clear winners for some races until well after primary night. And here's how we know that. We spoke with Nikki Charlson, the deputy administrator at the Maryland State Board of Elections. Take a listen. Viewers are used to knowing when they go to bed who won, um, but election officials know there's lots more work to be done and lots more ballots to be counted, and this election year is certainly going to be the same. Charleston says about a half a million mail-in ballots have been requested by voters, and so far they've received about 150,000 back, but they're legally not allowed to count those yet. They can't be opened until Wednesday, and our regulations say they can't start counting them until Thursday. So the law right now does not allow us to start counting ballots before Election Day. So if it's a close race, those mail-in ballots and provisional ballots could make a big difference. Delays in results don't mean anything is going on. It means that the local election officials are doing their job. Just doing their job. As for official results, Charleston says she expects it to take a bit longer to get the final count in some of the larger counties like Prince George's, Montgomery and Baltimore and Lorenzo. Charleston tells us that this is the case every election cycle not just this year. I was about to say, I feel like I've heard this one before. Mm -hmm. All right, Evan, thank you.